Mac users are often looking for a way to run software designed for Windows or Linux on their native systems, and the easiest way to do that is with virtual machine software. These tools create an instance of Windows or Linux on your Mac that you can use to run applications. There are a slew of virtual machine tools available, but two of the most popular are Parallels and Oracle VM VirtualBox. Parallels has been known as the go-to tool for Windows emulation on Mac, while VirtualBox is a more flexible tool designed for developers. Which one is right for your business, though? We're going to go through some of the key features and limitations of each software to help you make that decision. When it comes to emulating Windows 10, Parallels is the king of ease of use and implementation. You can install it like any other simple software, and it provides users with a simple wizard that walks you through creating a Windows virtual machine step by step. So for users that have never made a virtual machine, it should still be no problem getting an instance of Windows or Linux set up and running on Parallels. Parallels also includes machine presets like design, gaming, and development, so you can always optimize your virtual machine for whatever it is you're doing without having to dig into complex machine settings. So, if you're working with something like a CAD tool or photo and video editing tools that require specific settings or you want best graphical performance out of them, you can get that performance in a single click without having to look into the settings and figure out how all that works. Plus, since Parallels was specifically designed for Mac, it also includes some built-in features for the hardware. Parallels users can add Windows and Linux applications to their touch bar, and Parallels also has built-in support for boot camps, so if you are already using that for Windows apps, you can easily transfer your virtual machines from there to Parallels and get going no problem. Oracle VM VirtualBox, on the other hand, is one of the most versatile free virtual machine tools, and it supports a huge variety of operating systems. Additionally, VirtualBox gives you access to in-depth settings for virtual machines, so if you have some specific needs from your virtual machines, you'll be able to tune them to meet those needs in VirtualBox. So as long as you have the technical know-how, you can make a high-performance virtual machine when you need one, and a weaker virtual machine to save resources when you're doing less intensive activities. VirtualBox is popular among developers as they tend to have the skills necessary to understand the settings and are also more likely to need VirtualBox's wider support for nearly every major Linux distribution. VirtualBox is an ideal tool for managing dependencies and for testing applications in many different operating systems. Plus, as a nice bonus, VirtualBox is completely free, which means businesses on a budget can run it no problem. So both of these tools are great virtual machine software, but they also have some limitations that are important to consider. Parallels is great for its ease of use, but the trade-off is a lack of granular customizability. If you have some specific feature needs that aren't supported by any of Parallels' pre-built options, you won't have the same level of control that you get with VirtualBox even if you dig into the settings. Additionally, Parallels supports Windows and Linux virtualization, but it doesn't offer as many niche guest operating systems as VirtualBox. The result is that Parallels may not be the way to go for your business if you have need for some operating system that it doesn't support. The last notable downside of Parallels is that it doesn't offer a forever free version. It is fairly affordable with licenses starting at $75 per year, but even that can start to stack up if you have to buy it through multiple developers or if you need one of the higher pricing tiers. VirtualBox supports a ton of guest operating systems and includes a lot of granular customization, but these advanced features can also make the software intimidating and difficult to use for new users. For businesses that need a virtual machine for simple tasks like running apps on other operating systems, this added complexity isn't useful because all you really need is a virtual machine running that operating system to get up and going. Additionally, VirtualBox is not a specialized Mac tool, so it doesn't offer any of the special features that you get with Parallels, so you can't add anything to your touch bar and you don't get any extra support for bootcamp. VirtualBox also doesn't walk you through making your own virtual machine to the same extent that Parallels does, so if you've never made a virtual machine before, you may have better luck with Parallels. Ultimately, when you're deciding between Parallels and VirtualBox, one of the biggest factors that you should consider is your use case. If you're a developer looking to handle testing on multiple platforms and handling dependencies, VirtualBox is a great choice because it gives you granular control and supports a wide variety of operating systems. Additionally, VirtualBox is a free tool, so it's also a strong choice for businesses on a budget. A final point in favor of VirtualBox is that it is available on almost any host platform, so if your business uses some combination of Windows, Mac, and Linux, you can use VirtualBox and have everyone using the same virtualization tool. 
Parallels is ideal for designers on Macs that need to use Windows applications. If you need Photoshop or CAD tools on Mac and you need them to perform well, Parallels is a great choice. Compounding this, Parallels is great for non-developers as it walks you through the virtual machine process step by step and lets you choose presets for the applications you want to run. Parallels basically lets you stay out of the weeds if you don't have the technical know-how to cut through them yourself. If you still aren't sure which tool is right for you or you want to peruse other virtual machine options, consider checking out some verified reviews on TrustRadius. Every review on TrustRadius is written by a real user who shares their insights based on their experience and use case. If you liked this video and you want to see more like it, consider subscribing so that you never miss an upload.